Okay, it is Saturday afternoon, uh, November the 23rd, 2013. It is also <coughs> Thanksgiving week, 2013. Oh. That's, a, that's a toiki. Oh. That's a toiki, man. Turkey, turkey. You've got to have a turkey too. Turkey fresh, though. I love turkey as long as it's turkey. as long as turkey as long as it's not dry. As, as long, long as, as it's as, not a butterball. As, what? As long as it's not a butterball. Listen. Butterball it, has problems. It's got to be big. It's got to be a big turkey That's because I eat a lot. I don't want no small portions, and it's got to be cooked low and slow for a long period of time well covered uh, so it doesn't dry out uh, some 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 people somebody told me do it breast down so the breast is automatically sitting in the drippings three cups of broth in there in the pan so it steams yeah that will help yeah but, but turkey is one of those things where like chicken, you can't do it at a high temperature. You have to you have to be patient and get it in the oven early, and allow for a sufficient amount of time, and uh, and that's it. Otherwise, you'll end up with either raw in the middle and, and crunchy and dark on the outside. Acrylamides. Or you'll you'll end up with you'll you'll end up with uh, a dry breast. Can't have a dry breast. Not if you're an adult breastfeeder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's you don't want no dry breast. I've seen I've seen that fetish. I've seen a, a real uh, sick situation in uh, on the on the Latin channel. They, they have their own version of uh, of Judge Judy. Oh boy! And it was uh, this mother who was still breastfeeding her son, and he was in his twenties. Yeah, he's an adult. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize. Oh, jeez, we, we had, didn't just have any conversation. That's I, all. I didn't realize we were having people watching us yeah. here. My oh God. my God! Welcome to Progressive Discussions. I'm your host for Progressive Discussions, James P. Madonna, uh, and and we are coming to you live and recorded from the Newsletter Censored Research Center in Northeastern New Jersey, and uh, the weather is getting cold uh the winds of november seem to have stopped but you know nevertheless it's that time of year it's the end of november um let me um not well not only entertain you and inform you but let me formally pipe aboard remember we are also being watched by the nsa ah uh, screw them we are I will pipe aboard my co-host and mentor and the founder of Newsletter Censored in 1977 with my authentic boasted <laughs> whistle. Arr, arr. Welcome aboard, matey. Welcome oh aboard God. our progressive liberal starship, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. How are you feeling this week? Oh, my God. It's hard to believe that another week has has uh, blown by. Blown by. Where does yeah. the time a go? More of my telomeres are gone. <laughs> well, that's well, not every good. week. Every week that goes by, you know, I lose a little bit of telomeres. Yeah, but don't we all? Yes. And some lose more than others. Yeah. Well, you know, aging. There's different factors involved. There's a there's a bit of genetics involved. There's uh, stress um, levels, uh, including environmental and what you put in your body is extremely important. Your intake, you know, and your stress level yeah. with your lifestyle. And, For a little, uh, but you know, when you, you when you look at it, smoking is a no no, of course. Uh, imbibing too much in alcohol is bad. What? When you look at the disease progeria. You know that uh, what the kids get, and then they age rapidly. Yeah. So you know, uh, 
a lot of it is genetic. A lot. Yeah. You know, because that's terrible. They're they're 13 years old and they 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 look like a 200-year-old man, you know. And that's not counting the obesity epidemic amongst uh, young American children. Well, it doesn't surprise me with with the types of food that our government allows to be sold in supermarkets and the the poison they they're allowed to put in fast foods. It doesn't surprise me how sickly Americans are and and how obese the children are and and you know. Uh, and how much control uh, the corporations have. Yeah. And then if you yeah. and then we, all those yeah. uh, honey boo boo families out really? there where the parents set the bad example for the children by being obese and you know, you look at the whole family and they're all obese, including the dog. The dog too. I've Holy seen many obe obese dogs. Because they eat the crap that the people eat. They don't like Look, a or that plastic food with all the carbs in it. A dog is like a goldfish. They always look hungry. And a dog will always, will never refuse food. So they're like a bottomless pit. Yeah. They'll keep on eating and eating. And it's up to you to give them the right food and, and the right portions. I just want to start out, besides saying that I'm having a bad allergy this season with this crazy weather we're having with global warming. Uh, it could be mold spores. It's been raining a lot. It you has? Know, this fall. Oh, it yeah. has? We're like seven inches below normal. Yeah, but how come, the, a lot. how come the leaves are always wet when I go outside? Do damp, you know, that kind of stuff. But it, it's not raining unless a lot. It, unless behind. it's a quick drizzle. But I did take Benadryl, so it'll hopefully it'll kick in. Okay, I want to start off by saying um, Chisler's Hall of Shame. Gee, where should I start? Chris Christie. Hey. Uh, well, actually, let me just tell say... Tell folks who he is, you know, for people yeah. who are, aren't in New Jersey. Well, you can't miss him, really. You can't miss him. He's, a, he, he's like a walking billboard. The rotund governor of New Jersey. Yeah, he's obese. But before I say what I'm going to say about Chris Christie, governor of New Jersey. Unfortunately, he got reelected. How yeah. he how he beat a dynamo like Barbara Bono in, in, in the polls is beyond me, but I don't know. I, I don't see any merit to having him as governor, <laughs> unless you're rich, because, ah! because you don't pay taxes. You hit upon it. Yeah, but how he got the suckers in, in this state to vote for him, oh. to vote him in for another four years. Oh, pity the billionaires. We got all the poor people in this country that pity the billionaires. Oh. Okay? Oh, the poor babies. The oh. propaganda has been great. The poor rich people. Yeah. Like their lifestyle is going to change if they pay their fair share in taxes. Uh, there's a pl uh, place in California Yeah. who raised the, the property and uh, the uh, state taxes like 13 point something percent on the rich. Say that oh, again. Oh, some part of California raised. I say it again, you can say 13 point something percent. Yeah. State tax on the rich. Before they did it, they said, oh, the rich are going to flee. They're going to run away. Yeah, they're they're going to do this. Where they're going to go. That. And guess what? What? They ain't do nothing. It's oh, it's been a year, like a year or so now. Bullshit. Or maybe it's taken them too long to pack. Ha ha ha! You know? Well, well, Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Thurston Howell and his wife Lovey didn't. Uh, must have took a long time to pack all those clothes for the three-hour tour. Oh my God! A three-hour tour. They had a bunch of clothes for a three-hour tour. Well, when they got marooned on the island, they had a lot of luggage with them. And, and, and Mary and Ginger had her like her cocktail dresses and. Uh, who, Where the hell are these people going? Who brings all this shit for, for a three-hour tour? Oh god! I mean, they didn't travel light like the Skipper and Gilligan. Oh. But I think my levity bells need to get rang. Well, they're rung. Runged it. Runged it. I <laughs> runged it them. Before I talk about Chris Christie, I just want to say something that is very applicable to uh, uh, Thanksgiving week. 
Black Friday, it's about Black Friday. Only in America do people trample each other yeah. for sales one day after they are thankful for what they have. Oh, America, the, the, the repository of hypocrisy. Be a repository and a, a suppository, <laughs> which are a lot of these assholes that do stuff like this, that think they're actually getting a sale. Yeah, right. They just jack up the regular price of the product. The oldest trick in the retail book. Okay, let me let me commence. Norway, that's a country in Scandinavia. Um, has no national debt because corporations pay most of the taxes, 78%. Mm -hmm. The oil companies are mm -hmm. paying 78% up there. So and naturally, the, the there's no national debt. What, the, what, government, what, what, what? the government has its own oil. Thing. Well, across the board, the, corp the rich, the corporations, the rich of Scandinavia pay most of the taxes and there's no national debt. Doesn't doesn't surprise me one bit. Well, it's <coughs> practiced for everybody. Uh, well, people like fifty percent, but they get a lot for it. Yeah, they are protected from cradle to grave. Yeah, in the basics. Yeah, you know, they don't have to worry about tomorrow. In the basic necessities, right. uh, yeah. good good health care, education, <laughs> uh, uh, welfare without a hassle. Retirement, you know, and it hasn't stif stifled innovation. May I say one word? Nokia. What about all the the, the scientific marvels coming out of countries like Germany and uh, I mean, the, and the bullet the bullet train, the the transit system they have, you know, and that the United States took forever to even get. The, yeah, well, the train. Yeah, but people say that when the taxes are high and all this other crap, all of that, we well, innovation and investment are stifled. Well, as I said, I will say one word Nokia! Yeah, well, we all know they lie through their teeth. No, the, in American, no we don't all know. Fox News don't know. American politicians. Well, they know. They're just corporate. Corporatists, corporate whores, suck ups. All right, Republicans have the nerve mm. to call Social Security an entitlement. Mm. Social Security is paid for and paid for with cash. <coughs> the outrageous privileges um, and and tax money that uh, the um, that the U.S. Congress receives. Now, that's an entitlement. Yeah, I shared that last night, that post on that, uh, Facebook. Yeah, that's an entitlement. What they, what they receive, which is a talk show in itself, across the board is an entitlement. And they have the nerve to call Social Security an entitlement. Well, and, Wall Street wants that money, baby. And the media doesn't challenge them at all, of no. course. All right. Uh, continuing because I tell you why a lot of people just don't understand the Social Security system they, they don't, don't understand no. that it is separate tax and a separate fund <sighs> no they just are idiots just just watch Fox News and believe whatever they hear they don't understand how the government works they mm -hmm. don't know that well Rand Paul and uh, Paul Ryan and these guys that were a Tea Party elected in the House. They don't understand how government works, and they don't want government. Oh, work. speaking of speaking of Rand Paul and Paul Ryan. You mean the plagiarist? Yeah. Ah. Uh, yeah. Speaking of them, speaking of devils, Republic well, devils. Well, let me let me read this, man. Republicans opposing the uh, the whopping. Oh God, ten dollars and ten cent an hour minimum wage. Mm -hmm. I thought it was going to be eleven. Which 15. is some of them one fifteen. Well, eleven's not good. enough. All right. Well, neither is fifteen. All right. These Republicans that oppose this chicken feed, mm -hmm. crumbs, ten, crumbs, ten dollars and ten cent an hour minimum wage. Listen to this, Paul Ryan. It is estimated that he's getting one hundred ninety-two dollars and forty-eight cents an hour. <laughs> Rand Paul is getting 
$213.94 an hour and John Boehner is receiving $247.23 per hour. These are all Republicans, of course, that are against the minimum wage. You know what they'll tell you? We're worth it. We're worth it because we're elites. You're nothing. That's because you're they, a you're 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 a a, a cog in the wheel, my friend. That's because they say so. Yeah, of course that's all because they say so. But they do say so, and they have supporters who believe. They it. don't do shit though. Of course they don't. Where in this country? Show me. Where in this country does anyone, anyone, and I will say that again, anyone who makes big bucks actually works? None. No, their money makes. I money. say none. Their money makes money. For that's them. correct. Now, these lovely gentlemen, and I use that term loosely, the Republican Congress. All the money and all the perks they get is uh, from tax dollars, correct? Correct. Now, social services, welfare, that helps the, the real needy people in this country are from tax dollars also. Wouldn't you consider them tax uh, a welfare cheats by working a few days a month and not really doing much, not doing nothing but filibuster and block and uh filibuster's gone baby i mean uh um filibuster is gone the nuclear option was thrust down yesterday by harry reed finally now things can get done in the senate by only a small majority 51 votes instead of 60. filibuster is gone oh really yes I the guess, republicans i guess that's progress right uh, I would consider it so, until they come up with some more obstructive uh, 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 tactics. Yeah. Okay, and they will. Okay, why don't Republicans worry about speaking of the devil? Why don't Republicans worry about creating a cycle of dependency when it comes to corporate welfare? That's what we were just talking about. Corporate welfare. Correct. Your welfare. Yes. Welfare. Your, your bailouts. Your subsidies, corporate welfare. Because again, including including the pay of these Republican Congress because they're people. better than us. They are better well, what, than what us. What about the facts? Instead of uh, uh, focusing on what people think, what about facts? The Republicans have no facts. They hate Obamacare. They hate this. They have, imperialism. They have nothing to replace imperialism, it. Imperialism. Imperialism. Uh, I mean, with the king and the royal family, they used to say we're better than all you. Now you're talking. That are that. Prove is, it. That is Republicans. Prove they it. They are elite. Prove it. They are aristocracy. Why you do? Why are you? Why are you? Def I'm telling defending things them. as they are. Who cares about what people think? It's what is that counts. What That's is? That's correct. I just told you what is. Now, how do you change that? How do you change it? How do you fix a, a, a government? I saw a banner today of a hangman's noose. That's where you put traitors. I Th think the that United States was uh, 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 created to do away with that kind of government. That's why we had a vote. But if you're going to keep voting in the wrong people, what do you got? Americans now rank now Americans now rank 93rd in the world in income equality. Well, I have inequality. To well, inequality. Well, if they rank 93rd, then they're not doing too well in, That's in income. They're not doing too well on any. No, no, no. All I have to say is, go unions. Unions? There ain't no unions left. We got, we got, to, we got to bring them back. Well, the, of course we got to bring them back, but how the hell do you do that the when the Koch brothers... The Teamsters are... are, 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 are the Teamsters are ready to... They'll, they'll bitch slap the Koch brothers. The Teamsters, they're still around. Look, the Koch brothers... Uh, only are do what they do because they they're, money. they're able to pay off That's correct. politicians. They have money. 
just like Mr. Coor and, and, and his shape and, and any other uh, right wing right. conservatives crap. All on. right. Stocks are up 100%. The Defidus. Defidus. Let me start again. Excuse me. Must be the Benadryl. Oh boy. Stocks are up 100%. The deficit is down. Corporate profits are at record highs. Uh, the top 1% are richer than ever. Uh -huh. Republicans say, let's cut food stamps. There you go. Now you know they're either stupid or not serious. Because if you're going to cut those things, welfare, soup, uh, food stamps, the WIC uh, programs, and it, yeah. uh, why wouldn't you, if, if for, in other words, their idea is, oh, we got to cut this stuff because the government's paying too much money and we want a smaller government. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. That's what they say. But they're liars. Because if they really believed that, they would go after ExxonMobil first and the other welfare. But they don't. Yeah, well, the, the, they only go after the poor. The because as the last article said, in censored number 125, they have the poor in their sights. Maybe. The Koch brothers are, uh, are uh, have been recipients of a corporate welfare. They're recipients of everything. And they're welfare cheats, yeah, just like the, the Republican Congress and all these uh, corporations that get subsidies and free, free money, uh, handouts. But if a poor person gets a little, a few crumbs. They're jealous. Like, the, like food stamps. They're jealous. You don't, you know, I got news for you people. Uh, the poor, they don't receive really that much in food stamps. They do not receive enough to take them off the rolls of the poor. And I thought that's what you would want to do, wouldn't you? Yeah. Wouldn't you want to uh, take the poor off the rolls of being poor? Yeah. Well, you can't do that by being stingy, can you? Stingy and selfish. Uh-huh. All right. Well... It, it, it simply is that it's like this gentleman said. Uh, let me see if I have it written down somewhere. <clears throat> I know I, I wrote it down somewhere with the man's name. Um, could have sworn I did, but mm. uh, is, he was a, a former governor of uh, Louisiana and, and, and former congressman, made a very intelligence statement and um, I know I wrote it down somewhere. Haley Barber? No, no. He, he says pretty much that the the government is not broke, it's just bought. Ah, no kidding! <coughs> Where the hell is it? Oh, here we go. Our government is not broke, it's bought. That's Congressman Buddy Romer. Romer, okay. Buddy Romer. Romer. Not Buddy, Buddy, Buddy Rogers or... Well, he's uh, a Romer. He roams around. The wrestler, uh, ex-wrestler. Yeah, he roams around. Yeah, yeah. Buddy, Congressman Buddy Romer. It's not broke, it's bought. That's correct. At least he came clean, you know. Somebody cl comes clean. Yeah. Um, all right, uh, continuing. We're almost done. I want to save just a little bit for Billy Morrow later on. Um, Republicans say... Yeah, they always say that's the problem. <laughs> uh -huh. Republic yeah, they get a lot of FaceTime. Republicans, yeah, they do from the media. Uh -huh. Republicans say problems with healthcare.gov are the same as the problems that we had with Hurricane Katrina. Yes, in both cases, the Republicans don't care about helping people in both situations. However, that's what they that's what they have in common. However. As far as we know, no one has died from uh, 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 what's healthcare.gov. Yeah. But they did die in Katrina. Well, while Mr. Bush did nothing. Well, in both cases, with healthcare reform or Obamacare, healthcare.gov, whatever you want to call it, and Katrina, in both cases, the Republicans had to have no solution. That's correct. <laughs> That's correct. Because they have the best in health insurance because and, and, and the they way, can afford it. And by the way, yeah. yeah, and who pays for it? The suckers. That's it. The suckers the, are we. The people who have the tax burden on their shoulders, which are the middle class 
and possibly to poor with consumption. Possibly? With what are you talking about? With consumption taxes. Any taxes. Right. Yeah, wherever you go and buy something, you got taxes. True. Well, that's what I said. Even if it's cigarettes. Consumption. Or booze. Yeah. But the point of it is, let's 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 understand what's going on with healthcare.com. Okay? The problem is the yeah. goddamn insurance companies wrote the freaking law. They it was supposed to be the public option. Right. Easy, simple, ba 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 boom. Well, I guess the insurance companies were not defanged like you like to. That's correct. Like they were not defanged. Like they were allowed to write, and that's why these problems now are here. This is what happens when businesses, when corporations are deregulated. Are, are deregulated. I'm not talking about small businesses and mom and pops. I'm talking about corporations are deregulated and they're allowed to do anything they want. Yeah. It's like Pandora's box opening and all the demons come flying out, right? Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they get to write the laws. Okay. If, if the very wealthy Sheldon Adelson, who by the way is a real ugly and funny looking old man oh boy. He, he looks like a he's a ginger he's a ginger guy with with very white skin like a cadaver mm. but he's funny looking if the very wealthy Sheldon Adelson can donate 53 million dollars to the GOP election campaigns oh boy campaigns in 2012 he can afford to pay his fair share of taxes I think he was the one. I'm not sure. Uh, he was the one that uh, that supported uh, Gingrich. Mm, it doesn't surprise me. You know, he gave Gingrich all that money so Gingrich could stay in. The Gingrich that yeah. stole Christmas when he should have been out. Okay, I just got one more before we do a reading. Um, maybe a couple readings before Billy Morrow uh, joins us. Here's a quote. <coughs> Here's a quote from um, Michelle Bachman. Oh, boy. All right. And she said this to Fox News. And I quote, We would treat any other colored president the same way, even if he, he was Chinese or Mexican. So I don't see why they call us racist. Unquote. What about Mr. Clayman? How does that sound to you? That doesn't sound... Uh, it sounds racist. That sounds on its, racist. On its, on its face. <laughs> but uh, how about Mr. Clayman? I mean, uh, uh, he's calling uh, Obama a Muslim. He says he's a uh, uh, Kenyan. Uh, this, that, and the other thing. I mean, what? You know. And, and, and a few years ago, they were screaming and yelling about the church. The Christian church that Obama was going to with with, with uh, Reverend Wright. Well, he was Christian. Well, what the hell? Now he's all of a sudden he's a Muslim. And they're still going. And, oh, did you see the thing? There's so there's there's a uh, picture of uh, Obama somewhere, and there's a uh, a curtain behind him or something uh -huh. like that, and they're claiming it's a Muslim prayer cloth or something. Fuck. <laughs> I see. Usually the, the American flag is back there, you know? I see a great deal of uh, banners yeah. and caricatures and racist uh, images and racist cartoons depicting um, Barack Obama. It's, it's terrible, it's despicable. And um, how, I mean, they're not, they're not shy about telling you how they feel on, on Fox News, these Republicans. Yeah. And it has nothing to do with policies and stuff like that. It's a personal attack. Yeah. So that's racist. That's a, a personal attack is racist. These uh, okay. people that are in these redneck red red states, they just don't want the black man in a White House. They're trying to make believe he never got there. They want to uh, nullify. This is why instead of working a few days a month when they're in the Capitol building, they just block everything Obama is trying to put through to really help this country. 
Well, they certainly did that because, uh, to uh, as uh, uh, Franklin Delano Roosevelt showed in the Great Depression, the government has to spend money. Yeah. To get out of it. So the government spent a lot of money, but it went to the wrong people. It went to Wall Street, etc. Wall Street is not the economy. The stock market is not the economy. The yeah. economy is the people who buy and sell things. Exactly. Okay. Now I hear, I, I, I sent you the article, and it's from the Washington Times newspaper, I believe. Russia wants to, no, Russia is banning the U.S. dollar because they say it's a Ponzi scheme. It's a Ponzi scheme. Well, it is now because uh, the Fed is chunk churning out $85 billion a month to try to keep this, to try to keep this economy afloat. Yeah. I mean, at, one, at some point, inflation is going to rear its ugly head. And in fact, I'm going to tell you something, it's already reared its ugly head. But it's being kept quiet, just like the CPI in, in regard to Social Security. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's a lie. Uh, Social Security is going to get a 1.5 cost of living increase in January. Go to the supermarket and see how much meat is. Big. See how much the goddamn cost of living went up. Big deal. 1.5. Exactly. Big deal. Yeah, but it, it hasn't increased uh, with the past two years or three years. We it, we had two years where we got nothing. Then why are they increasing it 1.5 percent? Because they say that's what the inflation went up. What about retro? What about the the years no that retro. No retro. the years that it didn't get increased? No retro. But it's still below inflation. Yeah, because they're lying about the real uh, uh, inflation number. Just like they lie about the real unemployment numbers. The Boston re, uh, you know, Commission, I told you, back in the 90s, they changed the CPI. They want to change it again. They're trying to say, hey, didn't you see the thing about this doctor that they exposed for the, that worked for the Black Lung Administration? Yeah. Anybody who came to him didn't have Black Lung, but guess what? They did. They did, and they died. Okay, so that's what this is all about: is to try to save the government money. Okay, a lot of a lot of black lung dependents and people, they take them to court, and they keep them in court for years and years and years, hoping they die. I'm gonna. I will be doing a show very soon with Mr. B uh, Rob Cheeky my friend from Montreal, Canada, who runs a page called, uh, I think it's called Medical, Modern Medical Quackery or some or Modern Medical Fraud or something like that, of that nature. And uh, he, he's going to discuss the big cancer fraud that's going on across the board. How, how uh, going on, it's been going on for years. How, how cancer treatment in, in the U.S. healthcare industry is big bucks and how the uh, the patients are the victims, the suckers. Um, and they keep giving money to the Cancer Society and etc. Where is it the Susan the Coleman? The Susan Coleman, Coleman, yeah. The pink the pink ribbon. The pink ribbon. Constantly giving yeah. money to these people. Instead of the people who actually have cures for some cancer. Hey, they proved, they proved that uh, extract of, of uh, cannabis, of marijuana, cures cancer, kills cancer cells. That alone. Then you got graviola, which is the extract of the soursop fruit, 10,000 times stronger than chemo. Mistletoe. Mistletoe, but... Uh, Essiac. That Essiac. Yeah, Suzanne Summers took the mistletoe extract when she had breast cancer. You don't... Is anybody kissing her? She's still around. She's she's still doing well. She had the mistletoe. Was everybody kissing her? Well, I mean internally, the extract, you know. But the, but the the cannabis. There's a lot of information about that curing cancer. People but are feeding cannabis to their dogs for some reason. I don't know why. It's helping them. 
It works? I don't know what, you know. Okay, let us sink our teeth what it works on. into these readings. <laughs> and, and I'll be very shocked if the uh, local mainstream newspapers don't have some of the uh, the news reports that I gave you already. That, that proves that they're <laughs> corporate wars. I, I know the New York, New York Star Ledger, who is in the Chisler's Hall of Shame, is a corporate whore because they endorse Chris Christie. Uh, WrestleMania 29, the MetLife Stadium event that attracted more than 80,000 fans on April the 7th, generated 101.2 million in economic impact for the New Jersey, New York region. Wow. According to a study commissioned by the WWE that was released today, that figure, which was just shy of 102.7 million, said to be generated in the Miami region for WrestleMania 28. You know, Vince McMahon is always giving these figures on commercials during the uh, the TV tapings. You know, he's always, he's like, he's worse than P.T. Barnum was. He's, he's always promoting, patting himself on the back. Self-promoting. Yeah. Uh, this includes a smaller fan-friendly activities at the Izod Center and in Manhattan before and after the main event, WWE's Executive Vice President for Special Events, John Sabor, said. The revenue figure, which was in line with what the WWE officials predicted in March, includes what economists describe as direct, indirect, and induced impact spending. Sabor declined to break down what percentage of that spending took place in New Jersey, saying, We went to considerable lengths to make sure the event blueprint would be an economic and financial windfall for both New Jersey and New York. The breakdown by the Enigma Research Corporation shows that WrestleMania ticket buyers are young and far flung. Nearly one third are ages 20 to 24, and more than half are ages 20 to 34. Meanwhile, one fourth are from other countries. Yeah, they, they're the ones that buy all that stupid merchandise. And more than half are from outside the region. According to the results from 600 post-event interviews and a matching attendance by ticket type and geographic origin. No wonder all the opening theme songs of the WWE stars are, are rap, so, are ah. rap related. They're targeting young people. Uh -huh. They like that crap, rap. There it is, that's one third are, you know, younger than 34, and uh, one half, so one half and one third, you're talking about almost 70% are the youngies. Yeah. You know, and the divas, the, the divas, when they argue, with, when they fight with each other and argue, they they, they talk ghetto. You know, they, they, they're, they're, you could see this, the slick, smooth operator, Vince McMahon, is really psychologically targeting the younger crowd because they spend more money on, on, on all this crap. Oh yeah, that's where it is. That's where the money is. Yeah. It's like, what, 18 to 24 or something like that. Yeah. They spend the big bucks. Good thing I don't have any kids. They'd be coming home with the baseball cap backwards and baggy pants and their underwear sticking out going, yo, yo, what's up, daddy-o? Oh, they don't say daddy-o. Word up, man. Word what up, what up. up. I, I'll change the locks and kick them in the ass with my pointy cowboy boot bringing that shit home. Okay, we have time for one more reading.
Uh, Perhaps? Yeah, because before, uh, before. I want to save this one until later. Yeah, all right. Uh, before we go on break. <coughs> is concerning Mr. Jeez, uh, 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 I forgot his name. The homeless man that found the money. Oh yeah. Oh yes, uh, 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 James Brady. Brady. Yes, they Brady. found the the eight hundred and fifty dollars and 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 turned it into the police and and where he they kicked him off welfare because they they said it was undeclared income. or unreported income. Yeah. Yeah. Please read it. <laughs> I was so angered by the article that I had to respond. How dare Agatha Toomey? She was the I guess the welfare the, agent. Caseworker. Case yeah. Worker, yeah. The Hackensack director, oh, she's a big one. Wait a minute. Director of Human Services. Oh, she's a director. She's a big shot. She's management. Yeah. And she did this. Deny him his benefits for doing the right thing. As a teacher for 32 years, I have tried to instill in my students human compassion and the need to help those less fortunate. This is what a lot of people need, the shillelagh right upside their skull. I understand people the need like for following rules. Yeah, right. But did this $850 make James Brady rich beyond his needs? Nowadays? Hell no. No? It simply helped him get a few things for himself that we, and I'm sure to me, don't even need to think twice about before buying. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, um, it's like they make a big deal about it. Uh, I mean, no social service um, um, help is uh, adequate. Is adequate and equal to the cost of living of today. It's it's it's, it's poverty. It's still poverty level. They like that. They like to keep you there. It's still poverty level. Like the minimum wage still is poverty level. You know what it is? It's like a man who fell through the ice. And this man on shore has a stick, a long stick. And he puts it out there for him. And the guy tries to grab the end of it. And he pulls back? Yeah, but the guy, you know, don't, don't, you, or maybe there's not enough stick. Or maybe there's Vaseline on the stick. Oh, and, that's, and he, that's even... And he can't get a grip. Oh, that's even meaner, baby. And, and he's sinking. He, he's, he's, in, he's in the quicksand. He's going deeper. Hey, Walmart employees that have a job, they have to go on welfare because oh, of the cost of living. Hey, not according to the new commercial they're running. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. The guys are getting help with education. The uh, the guys are manager. Sure. This that and the other thing. Uh, the, uh, the Walmart uh, uh, health care forty dollars a month, etc. 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 Oh yeah. Great company. for who? The store Great manager company for the store manager only. Oh no, for the little guys. For the little guys. The little guys. How yeah. how could they afford to have anything taken out of their paycheck at Walmart? They can't. In many places, they got they got to go on welfare and food stamps yeah, I, I, to, to supplant themselves. Any any deduction from a Walmart paycheck yeah. is too much. Exactly. It's all bullshit. Mr. Brady bought himself toilet paper, napkins, a bath mat, and the sandwich that he craved. Oh wow! What luxuries! Wonder if that was a subway or Quizno. Well, if it was, it was probably a space sandwich. Two slices of bread with nothing in the middle. <laughs> oh, boy. And for that... Tingling. Oh. God, I dig that ling ling Levity. Dead. And for that, he lost his monthly general assistance and Medicaid benefits. What does this teach our children? That people, Don't be honest. That people are scumbag. Yeah, nice guy. Leo DeRocha, didn't he say that? Nice guys finish last. And turn in something you find that is not yours. That it's okay to kick a man when he's down. And trying to pull himself up. Yeah. Well, the... the well, his bootstraps weren't long enough, that's all. Yeah. yeah. Well, the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the gang-like ghetto punks have this new game called Knockout. They, they yeah. just walk up to an innocent... Stranger and punch him in the, in the jaw or yeah. in the face. 
people are sick. They are sick. I heard there's a there's a 25 year jail sentence now for this. But how sick the ga these games are, you know, it's like it's this is society is on its way down. It's degenerating. The uh, de evolution. Ooh. I think Toomey should face some disciplinary action. I suspend her for a long time, but I'll pay. At the very least, she owes Brady a sincere apology and the reinstatement of his benefits. And any retro money that's that's due, Brady. Uh, yeah, don't don't leave out the month or so that he's been off. You know, that would be the right thing to do. No, that would be right. That would be fair. And uh, so we'll take a break, right? Thank you for reading that. Uh, it's now time for the uh, Reverend Dr. Bill's gastronomic delight known as lunch, <laughs> followed by William H. Moore the third. So you go do what you have, have to, to do. do now. Do, do. Do, 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 da, 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 da. That's all I want to say to you. Was that a stupid song? There were so many stupid lyrics that made money, you know. Okay, as the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman is, away. is uh, eating his lunch, so he is full of strength and vitality. Vim and vigor. Vim, vim, and, vim and vigor vinegar for the rest of the show. Um, and of course we are awaiting uh, William H. Morrow III, our... Um, Long-time uh, voiceover artist to join us, F former NFL uh, football player, screenplay writer, extraordinaire. Um, I'll just banter here until he uh, calls. Now, um, uh, the entertainment industry I've noticed that I've, I've made this observation before people in the entertainment industry regardless what they do could be musicians could be singers could be pro wrestlers whatever they're very narcissistic self-centered self-serving egomaniacal people they tend to be maybe it's because they get so much attention goes to their head and um, you know when you communicate with them they they give you a few words you know like like you're bothering them or you know you're, you're using up their time they want to get paid for every little thing you know it's uh, um, and uh, of course it's this sleazy industry you know the the promoters and um, I mean it's a whole reality show the whole be behind the scenes uh, shenanigans that go on in the entertainment industry is, is a reality show in itself people get screwed over big time office politics you know playing favorites um, backstabbing treachery you know you name it it all happens and uh, I um, there's a particular uh, female wrestler, former bodybuilder and wrestler that I, um, where I, she knows who I am. I took her, I won't mention her name because she, she hasn't replied yet to my answer, but I just innocently took one of her new photos and put it on my, um, food and drink uh, Facebook group in the in the beer section called craft beer banter okay for you craft beer lovers feel free to join it's it's a great group I think it is well over 500 members uh, now uh, holistic health talk is like I think it's over 550 I believe it it's, it actually surpassed the food and drink group so anyway I put the photo there and then she says uh, I show her the photo um, where 
she has a man she's in a bar she's up standing up on the bar stool and she has a man over her shoulders giving him the backbreaker Boy. he's fa his, 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 he's looking up at the ceiling and he's got a glass of beer in his hands trying to drink the beer and she's got him has him hoisted over her shoulders in a backbreaker um, position and I just wrote something oh there he is Hello there. James, Dr. Bill, how are you? Guys? Hey. Uh, very good. William H. Moore the third is with us. Well, let, let me let me finish this story I was I was telling Bill. All right. Uh, to 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 bring you up to speed, uh, William, Sir William. Um. I was well, I was talking about people in the entertainment industry, regardless where they come from, whether they be whether they be singers, musicians, pro wrestlers, whatever. They, they tend to, maybe because of all the attention they get, they get inflated egos, they become egomaniacal, uh, pompous, and, and you know they want to get paid for every little thing, even talking to them. Like if you try to talk to them, they give you a few words of their time. And uh, I, I had told... Uh, you can yeah. find autographs for nothing with format. Uh, you can go to autograph signing. What about autograph? It used to be free. <clears throat> That's right. And uh, I, I told Bill, <clears throat> Reverend Bill, that I know this particular uh, <clears throat> female wrestler and former bodybuilder, and uh, she had a photo. She knows who I am. She had a photograph of she's standing on bar stools, and she has the a man across her shoulders in a backbreaker position. He's got a a, a, a glass of beer in his hands, and he's facing the ceiling. And she's got him up in a backbreaker position, and I wrote, I put her in my beer group on Facebook. I have a craft beer group called uh, Craft Beer Banter. So I, I thought, I thought of something. I put her photo there, and it says that she, she's, she's making sure that this man gets every last drop of the, of the craft beer into into his, in, you know, down his throat. By you know, she, he's got the beer, and she, he's hoisted on her shoulders. Well, long story short, she makes a sarcastic remark and says, I should get paid for you using my photo in your group. So this goes back to the mentality of entertainers, even... You, you, yeah, you establish an image now every time, every little move you make that's photographed or your voice would have you, they want a percentage. Right? They want a percentage of everything. Yeah. If, they, if they fart well, in your I, direction... If, if that was me, I just couldn't do that to Huh? I said, I'm sure I don't care. I took the no. photo. I took the photo off. I mean, uh, uh, I mean, screw that. If she's if she's going to be that nick nick picky and greedy, and I, you know. Well, we become a society of trademarking and licensing. Yeah, I can't use any any songs, any any theme songs on any of my shows now because of copyright. You can't use hardly anything anymore now. Too. No. I can't even use, I can't even use a classical song on on YouTube because if some orchestra performed uh, Mozart or or Bach's uh, Brandenburg Concerto, they 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 claim that the song is theirs. Well, it is, Jimmy. By by right, they paid for the rights of ownership of that, that live so-called song for library. Uh, like Michael Jack, well, the Beatles Library. Every time a Beatles song is played, him, what he did, what is the state now, is paid. And adds up around the world, you think how many times a Beatles song is being played somewhere, sometime. Yeah. So, I mean, I, as it with us, I, I would assume we want the same thing, too. Well, well, photography is a little... I mean, a lot of photographs. That's an image, though, Jimmy. That's an image. No, well, they sound they, or visual, you know, uh, audio or visual, it's the uh, same thing. Well, they're not. A lot of photos go on the internet that are not co copyrighted. They're just photos. Well, yeah, but a lot are. That's why I think you see so many of the photos today. The fine print underneath each image on the right, right bottom says Getty Images. They pay. They bought those images. So anytime it's used, they get something. It's money yeah. it's just images. 
Yeah, well, I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying it has to, it has to have some kind of a fine print in the corner of the photo. Uh, uh, oh, it does. It's just Getty Images. Even clip uh, art is copyrighted. Of USA Today, uh, any other set paper, whatever, says Getty Images, things like that, or uh, UP wire photo, For things mission. like that. Yeah. And if you remember our good friend Lesh, remember he was a medical licensure. Yeah. Remember Lesh? He did not uh, make a medical product ever. He just found great products and negotiated a contract with those gentlemen to license the products. And he right. Got a percentage. A huge fee, huge fee he got. Yeah. So uh, it, it's sad, but everything comes down to money. Hey, look at. Look, look at these baseball players, you know, getting uh, astronomical amounts for their autographs, some of them. And, you know, and... Uh, big, big money. I mean, $20 and plus more for a signature. I mean, come on, people. You know, really. Even more than that. I heard Robinson Cano of the Yankees wants a, a astronomical... Um, I don't know what the hell it is. Two hundred million, I think, over so many years contract. Oh, and I heard yesterday it was three hundred and ten million. I don't know if that's true. Or not. <laughs> I mean, he, he's a great player, but come on, I give agree. me a break. No, I don't agree. I don't think he's a great player. Well, for a second baseman, he hits a lot of home runs. Yeah, but he's not a great player. No, no, he's, he's not. not. A player deserving three hundred and ten million dollars. No, no, he's not. He no, he's and not that good. In his career now too. He's not. Uh, that, yeah. Now, in this situation, all right, I blame the owners for for saying yes. Of course. Yeah, thank you. I strongly believe in collusion. And uh, if I was an owner, I'd have secret meetings. And I'd say, don't touch these people, blah, blah, blah. Right. I would. I would. You want to play hardball? Stop. With the money we have as owners, stop raping us, okay? Right. Team sport. Why is it called a team sport? You know? Well, Why uh, do you have two of the greatest in, in the past when the Oakland A's got in the World Series when they, in the 80s when they had McGuire and uh, uh, Kaseko? I think they were combined one for 43 or one for 44. Why isn't there kickback? If we don't perform, we'll return or, uh, so much money too. Well, well the fan. No, no. The fan. do a damn thing, but we still want to be paid for our. Sort of glad I'm in charge of this show. Well, or it's... It, you know, it, not, nothing is fair towards the owners. Oh, God team. help like, me. They pay out the, the tukas, no matter what happens. And I just think they're all. Yeah. Well, if I was an owner, I think I'd, I'd be a great owner, but I'd also be a bitch. You know, I'd say, I'm not, this is bull. No way am I paying you this. And who suffers? The fans suffer by, 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 by paying insane prices for tickets. Yeah, Did what? You ever hear, what if you ever paid eight dollars for a hot dog? Mm -hmm. Where else but a ball game, a beer, eight dollars? Uh, from these jerseys, a uh, hundred dollars plus caps. Yeah, well, my friend, my friend Vinny Blake was was totally uh, pissed off when he went to City Field to watch the Mets with his with his wife and kids. He says he, he did a little video with his cell phone. He says this is insane. Look, it look. Is. Look at what I'm spending for some snacks, for God's sakes. And for what? And a what soda. It cost under a dollar to manufacture some, like a third world nation uh, manufacturing. Yeah. Well, I know you have something to say about our newsletter, uh, Mr. Morrow. If I do it real quick, I'll just say that the best way to join your organization is to go to www.newslettercensored.com and get your free annual subscription with your gift to support this work. We're living in that times, so you need newsletter censored. That's right. William Morrow's right. We are living in the end times and it and it oh, shows. Not good times, and I talk to a lot of people as you know, Jimmy, every day. End I'm times. I have not heard anyone happen. They're all struggling, everybody's struggling. It's uh not good times. 
Well, the system the system is rigged. I, I, people have to understand that they. Well, it's rigged. Like you, as I've said to you many times, before, you and I meet numerous times during the week, Jerry, and I say many times, we're not living, we're existing. True. So when, think about that. When you I have to just meaning enjoyment, doing things, we have existing is just we're breathing and we're alive. Blah blah blah. When you have to pay, when you have to, when all your money goes to your bills and there's nothing left over, that's existing. Well, well, you're right, and you, I, I was thinking for some reason today, I guess with all the Kennedy stuff this week. Well, yeah, but uh, who are your true friends? I was thinking about Governor Connolly. He was the first man shot in the front of President Kennedy's limo in the shoulder, I believe it was. Years later. They had to auction off his entire mansion and all its belongings. Where were his friends to help and bail him out? This guy has no many, many wealthy people, fellow governors, congressmen, senators, what have you. Where were they to allow this to happen? They're if I had millions, I'd mm. say, you keep your house. But they were you honest. They wanted to do a lot of good, and, and, and the evil forces, the elitists that control the country and possibly the world, they, they did not want to be exposed by good men like J, uh, you know, J, me, uh, JFK. Right. You know, as always, I've always loved to, uh, to uh, uh, do case studies in business or what have you. And many of the things I've, I've read in the past, many Hollywood celebrities that have lost all their monies, businessmen that, that have lost all their money. They all said one thing. When I lost everything, I found out who my true friends really were. Yep. It's funny how people disappear. And, and when you, you become... You, when you, you, if I had the old bunnies I had, uh, you can... I would never neglect somebody. What kind of a friend are you? And, and, and when you become rich, when you become successful, you all... all then they love you. Then they love you. Then you see it's how many phone. Greatest. Then they oh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Then they then they find out how many phony friends you have when you become uh, rich. And how many people need surgeries? All right. If more people need operations paid for. They come out of the woodwork. You never heard heard of these surgeries before, but now the operation. I need this much for this and this and that. It's just ah oh, boy, oh boy. Sadly, society or humanity is filled with fakes. You're damn right. You're damn right. Uh, two, with people that use two, two, and, uh, uh, a lot to give. Uh, yeah, I'm ready. To, I'm ready. To, to, I'm ready to sell the sell the farm. It's funny how, it's funny how when you're bad times, people do. Might as well just sit here. So, I don't know. Uh, I don't know no, I we know we know when the it's system is corrupt. The, the the government is not broke. It's bought. Like uh, uh, this uh, former congressman said. Um, Buddy, uh, Romer. Buddy, what? Romer. Buddy Romer. The government is not broke; it's bought. Well, that's that's yeah, that's very true. I don't think it is broke at all. I think it is bought and paid for. Yeah. I totally agree with that. We're not broke. Okay, let me let me all right. Let me continue with the the information that you and I spoke about. Uh, I want to start off by talking about McDonald's. McDonald's employees earn a lousy drop in a bucket of seven dollars and twenty-five cents an hour, but their CEO, the McDonald's CEO, receives thirteen point eight million dollars per year. And, mm -hmm. and that is just an example of minimum versus maximum mm -hmm. salary. And God help you if you give them a little bit of a raise. They will get, I think now. Yeah, a little bit. Where he goes to eight twenty-five. Big deal. Hour. Oh, big deal. You know. Oh, big deal. Eight twenty-five an hour. Yeah, they don't give you full time anyways. You're not getting forty hours. If you did that, forty dollars, you make a big deal again. But eight time. But 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 uh, but that's still in the poverty level range. It's way below the cost of living. Far below. Far below the cost of living. So is so is Walmart. So is our Walmart employees. They're all good. It's pure greed. 
they can afford to give more. But as we've discussed many times in the past, lower your profit margin. Wages are taxed to the mm-hmm. I've said that many yeah. times. Stop trying to please your stockholders. Yeah. Instead of making cost them nothing. Yeah. Yeah. It's all tax deductible. Or whatever. You're still making profit. Yeah. Well, this guy, uh, this very rich man, uh, Billy, uh, by the name of Sheldon Adelson, he donated $53 million to the GOP election campaign in 2012. $53 million. He could afford, he could afford to pay his fair share in taxes. Mm-hmm. They all can. Yeah. They all have to. <clears throat> now, now, uh... Offshore, offshore banking accounts, too. Yeah, yeah. All different ways of hiding money. Their, their mailboxes are offshore, the bank accounts well, the are offshore. The man has no power whatsoever. Outsource, outsourcing the, uh, and guess what? When when they outsource the American jobs and the product is made in, uh, let's say, Bangladesh or China, when it comes back to the United States, they should tariff those products. Well, that too, plus the quality is not there, and there's too much of a, quote, lead content, and it's killing people, too. Primarily, oh, the yeah, well, for, the toys are filled with lead. Look at fluoride. Those aren't that good. Uh, Look at fluoride. It, 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 uh, this uh, this popular, very famous doctor that worked for the um, I think National Cancer Institute. He admitted fluoride is is the number one chemical carcinogen contributed c- contributor to cancer. Is it fluoride? You know, this, this is what makes you angry. Uh, who do you believe anymore? Fluoride is no good, but you need fluoride in your toothpaste. And this? No, you don't. No, you need you need to you need to brush you need to brush your teeth and you need to stop eating sugar. You don't need fluoride in your toothpaste. Yeah, but how many people know that? You know, really. Eat the eat the get the proper nutrition in your body. You know, for for your bones and your teeth. Well, most people, let's be honest, too, with the salaries that they can't afford the proper nutrition. Yes, expensive. Grab anything. Yeah, because crap is crap is is affordable to them. Crap, crap is cheap, and they, but they've got to eat. Hey, that's why it's the best thing, the best thing anybody can be do, doing yeah, in the world, healthy or ill, is juicing. That's why that, people can afford that. That's why you see so much obesity among the poor uh, people that live in the inner cities. Yes. You know. Okay. Is this what life should be about for people, and not just here? No. But around the world. Yeah. Okay. Let. Not just the United States. Where's that shillelagh? I'm gonna hit myself in the head with it. Children. What the hell happened to it? It's over there. They're oh. playing in landfills and uh, I, looking for a, a, a little bone of chicken with some maybe a little bit of meat on it. I mean, they, Sounds they, like Charles they, Dickens' uh, 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 novel. Uh, uh, it's about right. Yeah. I, no. It's uh, of course it's it's very unfair. It's very selfish. Uh, hum, yeah. Human nature is wicked. It's evil. It's it's vile. I wonder how many of these wealthy people have their parties and are laughing at some people. I'm sure some do truly care. It's the devil's economics. It's the devil's It's the devil's economics. Okay, Bill, well, let's talk about this important subject that me and you went over. Uh, we were talking a few times during the week about how totally uh, uh, ludicrous, ridiculous uh, um, cases come to court and the and the, the courts rule in favor of these totally without proof without any basis to support their case these frivolous ridiculous people that bring these cases to court based on perception what people perceive okay a wa- yeah but but pe- people today People today are afraid to speak. They, 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 they. We have to, we have to walk on eggshells because, oh, you know, we're afraid of offending somebody, and and, and they're bringing. Look at if you're an athlete. Look at if you're an athlete, you accuse a star quarterback like Florida State right now of possible rape. Uh, the accuser, her family, or what have you, get death threats. Come on, people. Death threats. Yeah. You know, really, I mean, uh, you gotta speak up. 
It's getting way, way. It's been way out of hand. Let's put it that way. It's getting more and more further out of hand. It's yeah. Coming now the totally, se totally insane. There seems to be a paranoia today with perception in today's society, well, and and the and the judges give in to these people. Well, they do. That's why even the police, which are the law, but the book of police don't like the law. Hold on, hold on, Billy. All right, go ahead. I'm not gonna hear him. You bring him in, you let him go. You know, the law. I I don't have much use for the law. It's very unbalanced. Yeah, the uh, the furnace just kicked in, so you're gonna have to speak louder. But um. Well, we're out of time anyway. Give me a 3.30, Yeah, I know. I, well, I wanted to, I, well, I was trying to get to this important topic because we were we were talking about this many times that you were telling me it's going to get to the point where somebody will say, well, he looked at me funny. He gave me a dirty look, yeah. so I'm going to sue him. That's all the You know, it's got to the point where you can compliment a girl. Uh, that's a yeah, I lost. I'm, I'm losing your volume. He used to be. He has been. He did something strange. Oh no, he didn't. He was a terrible. No, nobody's. I don't think anybody can hear him. Yeah. A guy came up. I and he thought I'm a great you or her. You grant some that job might be, but you can't be afraid of a pair of green bodies. No, I wonder why the volume is so. It was good before. Yeah, I, um, I, I don't think your uh, the furnace just kicked on, so I don't think your voice is going over. It's, it's, I know it's a clear day outside, but the, there's something about Verizon and and a, and a wireless connection. It just. You know, but it was was it was it better than last week? Yeah, it's a little bit, but not not like it was two or two. Or yeah, two I, I you know it, I don't know if it's the Verizon signal or or what, but anyway, regardless. Um, Either way, have a great rest of your show. Yes, thank you. Both of you guys, and we'll, we'll be later. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys. Bye. Have a good one. Yep. Bye. All right. All right. Bye. Bye. Without fail, I try to. I try to. I try to uh, direct the interview, being that he, you know, we only have 20 minutes, and he, you know, he just keeps on going on and on and on. And I, uh, and we we spent so much time talking about this subject. Uh, of course, the furnace kicks in. The lovely furnace that makes so much noise. And uh, we have to raise our voices, which I apologize. But uh, there is a lot of paranoia in our society. There are frivolous cases that go to court, like the old lady that spilled coffee on her lap and claimed that the first layer of skin peeled off and got millions for that. And uh, and then there's also the uh, the paranoia and the neurotic, the, the neurosis of the of this damn sexual harassment lawsuits where a man can't even ask a woman out on a date that he, you know that works in the same company as him mm -hmm. you know and and the point is perception perception taken seriously without proof that is not fair it's perception perception same thing with Republicans. Perception is not evidence. If you, you perceive something, you got to prove it in order for a judge to rule upon that. That's what I was trying to get at. Yeah, but you also need money to go to court. True. Okay. So there is no justice. Yeah, but they fire, they fire the man in the workplace if, if, he, there's no if he compliments the girl or asks Unless her out, you have money. Well, how come they, they how come they fire him? They fired the guy right away today. Cause, cause because the woman the boss did that. But well, what does that have to do with court? 
Oh, no, no, that's two different subjects. Oh, of course. Going to court costs money. That's correct. So if you bring a frivolous case to court... Obviously, the person bringing that frivolous case has money. Has money. And the judge, if he, if he, if he has a ridiculous uh, a case coming in that is wasting court time, valuable court time, he should learn and not award this person with the ludicrous case all that money. Maybe the judge is bought, or maybe the judge is bought by ideology. You know, now, now the fact that an employer can just fire somebody based on, on a person's perception. Well, that's because the corporations have too much power. It's like, if, if, if they don't like the sound of your voice, or they don't like your jokes, or they don't like your face, they can let you go. Correct, because a corporation is a totalitarian structure. And if, and if, you, if a guy asks, compliments the girl at work, or asks her out, and she doesn't like him, she can turn around and complain about it, and he can get fired. Yeah. It's the same as the old bag that spilled the McDonald's coffee on her lap and became a multi-millionaire. It's the same thing. It's, it's unfairness in today's society winning out. Well, that goes back to what I said before about the doctor who was working for the Black Lung Administration. What the hell is that? Well, you and the Black Lung. You're goddamn right. A black lung and a social security and 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 and, and, and med Medicaid people, they run into the same problems. Well, it's all. It, it's and is anybody else bringing up the black lung, my friend? It's all. Uh, Other than yours truly. It's all a, a, a social. No matter how you look at it, it's all a social service. Yeah. Uh, and they're all being jil jilted. Welfare. People getting a lousy one hundred and forty dollars a month in New Jersey. Thank you, Chris Christie. Uh, uh, whether it be SSI, whatever, black lung, it, it's it's needed income for poor people, and they're getting screwed. That's correct. Okay, um, I, I try to do the best I could with William Morrow. Uh, we did hear him for most of his visit with us uh, until the furnace kicked in. But uh, uh, I, I also I have to talk to him about. Rambling and rambling road. and interruptions. Rambling People just love to cut off old James, and that really gets under my skin. Well, it's because he doesn't hear you, I guess. Well, well, you know, if I have material, I got to get through with it. Otherwise, it's going to be put off till the next week, and then the week after. Yeah, you gotta. Uh, the best thing is to make your point and have a beginning and an end to it. Just make your point. Prepared I mean, remarks. Yeah. Well, if if he if somebody rambles on and says, "Oh, the times are really uh, people are terrible," and uh, why are things? Why do people have to behave this way? Why? Mm -hmm. I'll give you an answer. Human nature is evil. It's wicked and, and it's worse because we're in the end times. What do you do? You expect less from the human race? Correct. Correct. You know, you can't go on like a hippie and, 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 and a flower child and say, oh, why can't everybody love each other? Ooh, ooh, sing Kumbaya, which is the mistake that uh, Bill de Blasio um, uh, made. When he de uh, debated uh, Joe Loda, he says he had a kumbaya moment because he thought he agreed with Loda. Uh, so again, Chris Christie, I don't want to repeat the same thing over and over again. Mind your own business. Uh, Bill de Blasio is doing the right thing by wanting to tax the rich because the rich should be paying the tax burden, not the middle class. Those with the money must pay the taxes. That's how it's set up. So, but how how Chris Christie can make 
uh, actually make a virtue out of it. Oh, finally, the thing shut off. At, you know, for him to make a positive out of a very negative by by uh, defending the rich not paying taxes. They've gotten the poor to pity the billionaires. Why on earth would anybody justifiably pity a a millionaire or a billionaire? They do. It's it's brainwashing propaganda. Whatever, but they do. They have elicited their support. And now they make it a a virtue, as you said. In other words, you know, oh, don't cut the taxes of the rich. And somehow, somehow in these warped minds, yeah. that seems to trickle down into a poor person's mind as if he's thinking, well, if he cuts the rich taxes, uh, I mean, if he taxes the rich, then he's going to tax me too. No, if they don't tax the rich, they're going to tax you because they got to get it from somebody. Okay? And that's what happened on the Mr. Reagan. And that somebody... The base was broadened. And that somebody just wasn't high income or wealthy people. That's correct. That's correct. The base was broadened. The social security taxes were raised. Who paid those taxes? Not the rich. So that's what they've done. And because and, and the, the stupid idiots, the lemmings in this country, believe the lies that uh, uh, not taxing the rich creates jobs. Uh, don't they realize there's no jobs here in the United States? It's all outsourced? Well, it doesn't matter anyway because the, the rich <coughs> and the big corporations don't create the jobs in the first place. Nope. 64%, 64 to 67 percent of all jobs are created by companies that are less than 500 employees. The entrepreneurs, the, the small businessman, the little guy. The donut shop guy. So, so what you're talking about is it's mainstream that's the backbone of the U.S. economy. It not, is the economy. Not Wall Street. People believe the stock market is somehow the economy. The stock market, the Dow Jones, is just 30 stocks of, uh, of uh, huge companies. That's all it is. What the hell does that have to do with the economy? Nothing. The economy is you and me going out there and buying and selling. That's the economy. And if we don't have any money, the economy is going to suffer. Well, if, if mainstream America is continuously sinking into a poverty level, then there's no surplus cash to put back into the economy. That's correct. There's no spending. So the economy goes bye-bye. And, and all these industries, uh, these, um, what would you call them, uh, industries that do not sell basic necessities of life, like fine jewelry and, uh, you know, retail, retail in general, a lot of the things they sell you can do it out. Like these industries are the first to get hit, hit bad and, and go belly up because uh, when people, when their income is not there anymore, they, they will eliminate the unnecessaries right. first. They don't have surplus cash, that's it. The luxuries, the, un the things that are unnecessary <laughs> are eliminated <laughs> first. Yep, they gotta buy food and toilet paper. Yeah, that's what I meant. Like, like they, they allocate their funds for mm -hmm. important things. Yeah. And so all these other industries, they'll go under. Yeah. Because people just don't have the money, you know. And um, why can't they think more like the Costco CEO? Because of Milton Friedman, that's why. And Lewis Powell. The Powell doctor. Isn't, isn't that short-term thinking instead of long-term? It's no, thinking no, from the me. rich down. That's what it is. Well, they believe in siphoning up. That's of correct. The wealth. The wealth go siphoning up, but that uh, that ruins the economy, as Rave Batra, the economist, said. That kind of activity contracts the economy. Oh, naturally. Okay.
Not it doesn't expand it, no, it contracts it. Nothing's trickling down, that's for sure. That's correct. And how many refrigerators can the rich buy? Or yachts. Well, they can buy yachts, Private but that's planes. what I'm saying. It's the, the, the buying of yachts is only uh, applicable to a few people. Refrigerators are for everybody. Everybody needs a refrigerator. Everybody doesn't need a yacht. Yeah. Okay. True. True. So what is better for the economy? Helping the little guy. Buying refrigerators. Putting money into into his and her pocket and 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 having them, having them make a living wage so they are no longer in the poverty poverty level and they will become the contributors to the economy. Oh, you are a socialist, my friend. Yeah. You're like, he likes You're playing... You're an idealist, a dreamer! This guy loves playing devil's advocate and getting under all James's skin. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a socialist, I'm a... Well, if it helps the that masses... That kind of thinking. If it helps the masses... If it helps the masses, it's good for the economy. But it's not good for the rich. And it's and it's also biblical too. That's correct. But they don't like to hear that. That's why they changed in the Bible. To make it more conservative friendly. You see, this is what I was trying to get at before, if Billy would allow me, is that people are paying too much attention to perception. What others say and not what is what actually is, what others say, like uh, holy roller evangelicals, prosperity preachers that, that claim that God wants everybody to be wealthy. God never said that. God wants everybody to be content with contentment and no poverty. If you have your health... There will be no poverty in the world if, tomorrow. If you have your loved ones around you and you have a shelter and, and, and adequate food and clothing and, uh, of course, peace of mind, mm -hmm. that, according to God, that's wealth. That's wealth. So, um, you know, as far as acquisition of wealth in terms of money, that's part of the the devil's uh, material world. That's a, you know, it's not the spiritual world. It's the greed, greed, greed is the devil. Yeah, Ayn Rand and Milton Friedman and their way of, way of thinking. Mm -hmm, that's all mm -hmm. part of the, the devil's economics, uh -huh. which is capitalism. All right, continue. She was the girl next door. But she was naked. Well, girl next doors have to take a shower too. That was the obvious. Get naked. Original appeal of Betty Page. A 50s pinup favorite with her jet black hair, bangs, bright blue eyes, and cherry red smile. She couldn't look happier Cherry or more red. wholesome. But she had lipstick on, that's why. Even when wearing one of her homemade micro bikinis. Homemade? Or often a lot less. Even when toplessly trimming a Christmas tree for Playboy. Or doing some odd bondage layouts for private clients. Playboy? Was she the first uh, Playboy playmate? Or was Marilyn Monroe? I don't know for who, who the hell was, but Marilyn sounds familiar. And then she disappeared. Truly disappeared. From the business. At the height of her fame. Really? And then gave her, and that gave her a mythos had transformed her image into iconography. Because she, like, just quit cold turkey? She just left the business? She just vanished There have the been a few attempts at telling her story, including the notorious Betty Page, a 2005 drama. 
But the new Betty Page reveals all. Does the best job. Chiefly because its title is absolutely true. This is Page's story told by Page. The former model avoided photographs late in life, but before she died in 2008, at 85, she recorded hours of audio tapes. They are the soundtrack for this cheap but compelling biography. Hmm. But the film's still well directed by Mark Morey and Page's story told in a southern drawl as thick as sorghum is fascinating one. Oh, she, she was from the south? How she grew up dirt poor in and out of orphanages and tumble-down shacks but made her way to college. And then, by the late 40s, New York. How she did dull and secretarial work until one day a man offered to take some pin-up photographs of her for free. That better not be who I think it is. It's probably a uh, commercial. Reach to your eyes. Now you know why I like to take the goddamn thing off the hook. Why didn't you take it off after Billy? Because if I, when you when you and her here do 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 do, you get mad. It's only for a while. See. Solicitors. Solicitors. Yeah, solicitors. Where was it? A uh, poor Betty. She was always a little too trusting, especially when it came to men. But the fellow was on the up and up. And soon she was a popular model doing $25 a day assignments for camera clubs in South Orange or out on Fire Island. $25 a day. Well, this is back in the 50s, man. That's a lot of money. Making odd little 16 millimeter striptease films down on 14th Street. It could be a sleazy little world, full of hard-edged women and paunchy little promoters, yet there was nothing dirty about Betty, who didn't smoke, didn't drink, and thought casual, regular, regular nudism, taking air baths, she called it, was fun and healthy. And if someone was kind enough to take her picture while she was doing it, well, she'd give them a big smile. The Betty Page story seems like the answer to so many criticisms of pornography. Here was a model who wasn't coerced, who controlled her own image and seemed to be having a good time doing it. Look at any of her photos and all you see is joy. That's all you see anyway. But Page had been abused by her father at 13. And by the late 50s, had already started to hear voices. God was talking to her. She thought. She abruptly quit the business and moved back south. No one heard of her for decades. Many people assumed she was dead. What had really happened, though, that was a horror story. And just the sort the porn critics point to. Mm. Betty Page cycled in and out of relationships. She grew more and more detached from reality. She attacked a landlord and spent years in a California asylum. That she came out the other side again is a testament to her. She died happy and remembered. Betty Page movie, 101 minutes, rated R. Okay. Okay.
Betty Page was the best. No. Her, she was the pet up queen, right? Yep. Yep. Did you want to see her picture? No, I've seen I've okay. seen it on the internet. Uh, um, okay. The story is circulating on the internet. Um, anything there about um, the hurry, the typhoon in the Philippines or? No. Uh, um, it's over with. Well, naturally. What we have now is the robbing of all the looting. Uh, all the uh, contributions. Oh, really? Oh, how, really? How, Why, do you think it's going to get to the people? How come that doesn't surprise me? What happened in Haiti? Same thing. And this is why I don't, I don't pay attention to charities that, that solicit me. Yeah, I think Facebook up is uh, looking for $10 over there. I think I saw that. Someone's looking for ten dollars, or Facebook is. Facebook for the donation. Yeah, it'll go right in Mark Zucker Zucker, Zucker nose. Geek's nose. It'll go right <laughs> up his nose, in his pocket. Ah, <laughs> oh dear. The ideas espoused in a column by United States Senator Bernie Sanders, independent of Vermont are neither economical nor moral. Huh? Somebody talking against my man Bernie Sanders? Well, read this thing. Uh, um, and, t and give me his name. Bruce Ricard. You piece of shit, Bruce Ricard. Ridgewood, New Jersey. Oh, sure. He's, he's got bucks. People with big bucks are not are not going to like uh, the liberal progressive uh, Bernie Sanders. The form of government our founding fathers created satisfies these goals. The Declaration of Independence gives the intent of the Constitution by stating that all men have certain inalienable rights. Among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Pursuit. I like pursuit. Oh, or pursuit. To secure these rights, governments are instituted among men. To understand how the Founding Fathers thought, one should read the Federalist Papers. Two good examples of misinterpreted terms are regulated and promote the general welfare. To our fathers, regulate meant to remove restrictions from as an interstate commerce. They wanted to remove tariffs and other restrictions in interstate commerce, not to restrict voluntary economic exchanges among free men, which most of our current regulations do. Well, they didn't do that to Wall Street, did they? No. So they can't be that bad. They wanted to promote the general welfare by creating a government that protected individual rights, especially property rights, which the other rights logically depend upon. The Founding Fathers knew that a right to any good or service requires the violation of the taxpayer's right to keep his money, since someone has to pay for it. Well, I've got news for this fellow, Mr. Rickard. Mr. Douchebag. The income tax was never in effect back with the founding fathers. How come, um, the, how come I knew this had to do with the uh, taxation of of high income people and the rich. I knew it was going to come to this. They, these greedy bastards just don't want to pay their fair share in taxes. Notice that our current government considers anyone's need as a claim on another one's wealth. Effect so does God, by the way. Effectively, that is in the uh, two coats thingy, that the poor are to be given two coats 
of the rich, not just one, not one coat, but two. This and they are to be invited to the feast. And if the rich person has meat, he is supposed to give him meat also. Yeah. Well, the, the, the Bible is very um, um, self-explanatory and direct about, about the relationship that should be between the rich and the poor. You know, giving, helping the poor, giving to the poor by the rich. They're very direct about that. Effectively, anyone with any earned worked for wealth is a slave to politicians who want to redistribute it. Karl Marx stated the essence, from each according to his ability to each according to his need. Anyone who forces this on others is a Marxist. This slave mentality which considers all privately owned earned wealth as belonging to the government for redistribution is as immoral as slavery was. Hmm. You know what? A bunch of crybabies, whiners, um, they have enough money, they have plenty of money left over even after, after paying high taxes and um, you, you just look at look at what's happening um, <clears throat> the middle class are taxed to, to the point of uh, no return you know they just uh, there's no surplus cash to put into the economy they just exist they exist to pay their bills and they have nothing really left over no surplus cash, very little. And they are at the mercy of the private sector for a job, for their survival. Something wrong with that picture. I know somebody... That's not freedom. No. That's not independence, is it? No, it isn't. It's no. not. I, I know somebody, I, I definitely noticed for a fact, that someone that has a very good paying job that I know uh, connected with the uh, pharmaceutical industry in some way mm. has to actually um, work mandatory overtime for free. Mm. Well, if you're on salary, technically overtime is free. Um, technically, there is no overtime anymore. That's the problem. So this person is they working... They did away with that under the Bush administration. And, and the scumbag uh, people that run this company expect their office employees to bring home work if they can't finish it all bring home work on the weekend that that's working for free also yes it is oh man do we need do we need the unions in retail and in, in, in office in the office <coughs> I hope the, the teamsters should create an office and retail division that's unheard of working for free you could stay home and work for free you could stay home and, you know, if you're going to do something for free, again, you, you don't have to work. Again, I say, why do we have that mindset? Why do we not, we not have the mindset such as, if a corporation requires workers, yeah. why don't the corporation go seek the workers. Why do the workers have to drag themselves out of bed, hit the street, grovel to them, uh, th uh, hit the unemployment office, the state uh, uh, department of jobs or whatever, Workforce. look in the internet, look in the newspaper, look. Why is it on the head of the individual? Yeah, and, and incidentally, on the government uh, employment website, the jobs they have posted gone. are gone. They're gone. gone. They've been that way since, uh, on my own personal. They don't. They since don't. Since 1974. They're not removing these up uh, these jobs that don't exist exactly. that, that are already filled. Exactly. A long time ago, there's jobs that are already already filled. Same thing. You click on the link, and the job is. No longer is no longer my, there. I wonder if my car is still up there. Ha! Uh, 
I agree. Very, very incompetent. Very. Um, well, because they don't care. Nobody cares. And people, about this kind people, of stuff. people think that oh, if something's run by the private private sector, oh, it's yeah. going to be like top notch, and uh, you know, everything's going to work. Hunky dory. Great, but no, no, it, it doesn't mean anything. Guess who rolled out the, the uh, affordable health care website? The private sector. So it's still private sector. Hold on, hold on. The government paid hundreds of millions of dollars to the private sector to prepare a website. That's what they got. So Obamacare is private sector. That's what the problem is. And they're bitching about it. That's the problem. But they're still complaining, the Republican Congress. Exactly. Not only is it private, uh, you know, sector oriented, but it is, it was created by the Heritage Foundation and Romney. A Republican. It's a Republican document. Why must the Democrats in today's two-party system, like Barack Obama, why must they always have to compromise with the right wing, with Republicans? Why? Why? Are they, are they that desperate for their approval? No, because uh, they both uh, get money from the same sources. You mean... The Camp government is bought, my friend. It's bought. You, you said it before. You're talking about campaign contributions. That's correct. They don't owe you anything. Oh, thank you for your vote. But that guy who just gave me $20,000 for my campaign, I owe him. I don't owe you. And that, and that, there lies the problem. And that's Democrat and Republican. There lies, therein lies the problem. Money in, in politics. Causes corruption. Correct. Money in politics. Regular nut eaters were less likely to die of cancer or heart disease. In fact, were less likely to die of any cause during a 30 year Harvard study. Nuts are extremely nutritious. Nuts and seeds. Too bad they're expensive. You wonder why. Yeah. I guess it's the hand picking, stuffing, you know, whatever shit goes oh. on. Well, Brazil nuts are extraordinarily high in uh, important anti antioxidant mineral selenium. Yeah. I mean, just several Brazil nuts per day will give you your entire day's limit of, of selenium. Which, it, which the body needs to produce, uh, to create superoxide... Uh, These mutates. No, 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 that's zinc, I'm sorry. Glutathione peroxidase. Glutathione, yes. Yeah, this, the body makes glutathione per peroxidase, very powerful antioxidant enzyme from selenium. And of course, zinc would be converted to superoxide dismutase to neutralize the superoxide free radical. The risk of dying of heart disease dropped 29 percent, and the risk of dying of cancer fell 11 percent. Among those who had nuts seven or more times a week, compared with people who never ate them. If you can afford it, of course. Uh, yeah. The benefits were seen from peanuts as well as pistachios, what about walnuts, almonds, almonds, walnuts, and other tree nuts. Yeah, well, well, peanuts are legumes. They are not true nuts. Yeah, they're underground. Yeah, they're leg underground. Legumes. The legumes. Which means the bean family. And peas. Beans and peas are legumes. The researchers did not look at how the nuts were prepared. And lentils. Boiled, or salted, raw, or roasted. Mm -hmm. Help yourself to some nuts this holiday season. Regular nut eaters, less likely to die of cancer or heart disease. 
nuts have long been called heart healthy and the study is the largest ever done on whether eating them affects mortality. Researchers tracked 119,000 men and women and found them that those who ate nuts were roughly every day were 20% less likely to die during the study period than those who never ate nuts at all. Actually, not eating any food that's advertised on TV is heart healthy. <laughs> eating nuts less often also appeared to lower the death risk in direct proportion to consumption. Mm -hmm. The benefits were from peanuts, actually a legume, as well as from pistachios, almonds, walnuts, and other tree nuts. The researchers did not look at how the nuts were prepared. I love pistachios. A bonus. Nut eaters are slimmer. Yeah, because uh, despite what the medical doctors tell you and the uh, American Dietetic Association tells you, good fats are not, should not be demonized. Good fats are very important for your health and they stabilize blood sugar, which keeps you feeling full. There's a general perception that if you eat more nuts, you're going to get fat. Our results show the opposite. A Dr. Ying Bao published in today's New England Journal of Medicine, the National Institutes of Health and International Tree Nut Council Nutrition Research and Education Foundation sponsored this study. This is last thing bowel as in moving your bowels? It's a woman. Oh. Bowel, B A U. Uh, oh. oh, it okay. sounds Chinese or something. Ying, yeah, of course. Ying Bao. Korean, Chinese. Researchers don't know why nuts may boost health. Could be that their unsaturated fatty acids minerals and other nutrients to lower cholesterol and inflammation and reduce other problems. Observational studies like this one can't prove cause and effect. They only suggest a connection. Research on diets is especially tough because it can be difficult to single out the effects of any one food. People who eat more nuts may eat them on salads. And some of the benefit may come from the leafy greens. Many previous studies tie nut consumption to lower risk of heart disease, diabetes, colon cancer, and other maladies. At a Heart Association conference in Dallas, Penny Chris. Etherton reviewed premium studies on this topic. We are seeing benefits of nut consumption on cardiovascular disease as well as body weight and diabetes. You don't know exactly what it is about the nuts that boost health or which ones are best, she said. I tell people to eat mixed nuts. And I, I've also been reading a lot of great things about pumpkin seeds, uh, sunflower seeds. Pumpkin seeds are very good for you health-wise. Um, actually, um, when I I tried eating the uh, raw flax seeds whole, mm -hmm. chewing them, and they're very tasty when you eat them that way. As opposed to when you, when you grind flaxseed into a flaxseed meal, it's very slimy when you cook it, like in hot cereal, like okra, it's very slimy. Hot day supposed to be toasted, maybe? A little bit? Uh, you, uh. Could, you could do it, but I, no, I, you know, the best way to eat these is raw. I mean, and the Dollar Tree has the whole flaxseeds and, and also the steel cut oatmeal. 
one pound bags. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. NASA's newest robotic explorer. Yeah. Maven. Rocketed toward Mars on Monday on a quest to unravel the ancient mystery of the red planet's radical climate change. All right, let this be the last article. The Maven spacecraft is due at Mars next fall, following a journey of more than 440 million miles. Scientists want to know why Mars went from being warm and wet during its first billion years to cold and dry today. Oh, it's kind of like the Gobi Desert. The early Martian atmosphere was thick enough to hold water and possibly support microbial life. But much of that atmosphere may have been lost in space, eroded by the sun. Maven set off through a cloudy sky on Monday afternoon in its effort to provide answers. An unmanned Atlas V rocket put the spacecraft on the proper course for Mars. Yeah, but eroded by the sun, isn't Mars much farther away, away from, from the, sun the sun than Earth? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. But Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars. Yeah, Mars is further than... Uh, well, Mercury and Venus are too close to the sun. And Mars is 440 million miles from Earth. Yeah, so how could it be... How could their atmosphere be eroded by the sun if they're f farther away than we are? Strange. I don't know. And launch controllers applauded and shook hands over the success. An estimated 10,000 NASA guests gathered for the launch, the most exciting one of the year from Cape Canaveral. I thought they changed that name. It was in, Cape Kennedy. In Florida, right? Yeah. Cocoa Beach? No. Was, Maybe the Republicans changed it back. No, Cape Kennedy was in, 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 in Houston. No, they changed Canaveral to Kennedy. <clears throat> Check Google tonight. The University of Colorado at Boulder, which is leading the MAVEN effort, was represented by a couple thousand people. We're just excited right now, said the university's Bruce Jakowski, principal scientist for MAVEN, and we're hoping for the best. To help solve this environmental puzzle at the neighboring planet, MAVEN will spend an entire Earth year measuring atmospheric gases once it reaches Mars on September the 22nd, 2014. The mission costs $671 million. A question underlying all of NASA's Mars missions is whether life could have started on what now seems to be a barren world. They sure have money for all these projects. We don't have that answer yet. And that's all part of our... Yeah, but we also have uh, money for tanks that are we don't need, want, or garbage, etc. Planes, we can't fly. It's... Come on! Yeah, the, the, this particular plane... We don't have money for the poor. That's it, period. These particular planes made by Lockheed, they, they never saw any action. They were never used. And it costs many millions. Billions. Yeah, I mean, uh, the, uh, that could have paid for uh, many times over for a food stamp program. The last time I looked to get rid of poverty in the United States, would have taken 135 billion dollars if they if they, they gave Wall Street a hell of a lot more than that. It's just like the politicians in third world countries. It's corrupt. They don't care. We don't have that answer yet. 
And that's all part of our quest for trying to answer. Mm. Are we alone in the universe? In a much broader sense, said John Grunsfeld, NASA's science mission director. Well, if we're not alone, the extraterrestrials are sure doing a great job of hiding. Well, <clears throat> According to the Bible, we are alone. Yeah, well, you told me you can't believe the Bible and science, you know, quantum physicists and, and, and science and is at the same time because they both contradict one another. Two contradictory thoughts in the mind at the same time. Yeah. Such as ancient astronauts and the Bible. Yeah, the show Ancient Astronauts. Uh, theorizes, and, mm -hmm. and uh, I cannot overemphasize that word, theorizes, mm -hmm. that uh, everything, all the stories of the Bible are involving uh, aliens. Mm -hmm. They don't, they just, these scientists won't acknowledge the existence <coughs> of a spirit, of an angel, or evil spirit, a demon, whatever, uh, of a god. Everything, everything is extraterrestrial. You know, I mean, just because you find a carving of something that looks like a, uh, a spacecraft or a, a humanoid in a spacesuit, that doesn't prove anything. It's, it, Such it, as what is that, Quetzalcoatl or whatever the hell he is? Anything, anything that comes from the sky big. or flies up to the sky, according to these scientists, are extraterrestrials. Yeah, and the extraterrestrials came here and they gave information. They're going to come back. I still believe that there's no way <coughs> man could have taken, taken blocks of stone that weigh many tons apiece and, and piled it on top of each other and made a pyramid by hoisting these super heavy blocks well without help without uh, your Bible intimates that Job had a hand in building the pyramids oh he must ha he must have had divine intervention no no no, no. How, how the hell couldn't how did the Easter Islanders do it and now they couldn't do it today because guess what? All the trees are gone. They used up all the trees. That's why they ain't around anymore. Isn't it funny how um, the European settlers, every time they colonize something, they, um, they overconsume, they overuse a resource until it's, it no longer exists. Like, they don't think of... There's no tomorrow. When I used to, year, many years ago, when I used to work with seafood, that's how I met Reverend Bill, um, we used to get live crabs in. And did you know that I found undersized crabs and females with eggs? <laughs> You're supposed to throw them back. And yes, it affected the crab population for the commercial crab industry in New Jersey. Yeah, well, look at cod. Oh, that's in danger now. Yeah. Oh, in the Atlantic. Now they well, get I don't it. Aware, but uh, now know. they now they get it from the Bering Sea up in uh, Alaska. The mm. uh, pollock and cod and um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we discuss, We were discussing uh, climate change here yesterday. I had some gentlemen walk into the place. One of them owed me some moolah mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for the uh, refrigerator. So he paid up, and we were discussing climate change and all that kind of stuff, and and he he believe, believes that of course that it's occurring and everything, but man has no hand in it. And I said, well, that may be true or it may not be true, but you know what? Man has a hand in the dead zones in the Pacific Ocean, don't he? With all the plastic bottles and stuff. Yeah, not counting the uh, 
the radiation from uh, Fukushima. Well, that too. Ton, uh, tons and tons per hour or day. Leaking out. Just, yeah. The, the, no. The, the, Getting sucked up by the fish. No, not so. They're, they're pouring this. The yeah. Japanese are pouring this into the ocean. Thinking that the ocean is going to magically dilute radioactive waste. Well, it ain't that. It's if I'm if I'm understanding the problem correctly, they constantly need to keep those rods cool, and they're using all this water, and and it just goes into the ocean when it com becomes contaminated from you know keeping the the rods cool. That you cannot just you cannot remove the rods and. No. In that situation. I don't know about the, what happened to the ones in the buildings that blew up. You know? But I do know they have to be kept cool. It takes many thousands of years, right? Well, look what happens up in Buchanan here with the stupid uh, reactors we got up there. Billions of gallons of water every day, hot water and everything, killing fish up there. Ah. And that don't even take into account radiation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know? Just an environmental disaster, that's right. all. Yeah. All right, that's it. Uh, it's funny, we, uh, we, didn't, <coughs> we, didn't, we didn't go over too much uh, in, in regards to politics. It's all politics, my friend, it's all politics. Yeah, we're talking, reading these scientific things, and environmental things. So. Well, it's which, politics. Which is good, which if is good. If it were up to Republicans, uh, $671 million would not have gone to the Mars program. Okay? What the Mars program, if they, whatever information they find out from Mars, the mission, is that going to make our lives here on Earth any better? knowing that we found bacteria or fungi. Where did Velcro come from? Well, it was Velcro. It yeah. was invented, right? Yeah. Yeah. Came out of the space program. Oh, really? Oh, really? Kevlar. A lot of stuff Kevlar came out of the too? space program. Maybe Kevlar? A lot of stuff came out of the space program. Oh, no, I'm not anti-NASA. It's just that if you're going to put money towards science for the the betterment of mankind you should be taking the money that's being wasted uh -huh. in in the military uh -huh. hey you know why sputnik was put up there first don't you by the russians well there were there were because of the cheap damn republican bastards here who didn't give money to our explorations <coughs> etc so that's why we were behind the russians and had to catch up real fast China, in the space program. China put man in space a long time ago, and that wasn't televised. We put a monkey? Oh, excuse me, it was a chimp. Chimpanzee. Yeah, something went wrong, and um, <gasps> the chimp survived, though, but something went, went wrong with the mission. Well, something went wrong with the Apollo mission, too, or whatever the hell it was. Yeah, well. And lucky they got back. Look at the, the, the Challenger. Boom! All I have to say is they are they are not to people that call themselves conservatives they're they're not very fiscally conservative are they No they have an allocation problem They like things to be going to what they think is fine like the rich ExxonMobil the GE etc but they don't like money's going to help the needy Okay. Yeah, they, 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 they're a perfect example. Republicans are a perfect example of perce perception get receiving credibility without any proof, without any yeah, facts. they have an ideology. It's an they ideology. It, 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 what they perceive is true. What they perceive is, is reality, mm -hmm. which is really not. It's like stup the stupid things they say on Fox News. Like Michelle Bachman says, we're we're not racist. I don't know why people call us racist. We're not. We're, we have no problem with the colored man in the White House. Yeah, we would. Th 
we would say the same things against the Chinese man and, or Mexican or a Mexican or whatever. <laughs> oh boy! Any hey, well, you're talking to a woman who was uh, uh, aligned with her hubby. They did porn. Uh, close to it. Where did they they thought they could change gay people into straight people. But they had sex with them. They made money from the effort. She she was a sex surrogate. She tried to straighten no, out. No, they had a business. Oh, to to cure, so quote unquote, supposedly to cure gay people, because to cure yeah. means that you're sick or you have a disease. Yeah, that's correct. And and, and you know what one of the cures was? What a Bible. Oh, that reminds me of that banner I read about. Uh, the Amer the Native Americans saying that uh, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's goods and thou shalt not steal. So they gave us a Bible, the settlers. They gave us a, a Bible, and then they t took our land from Older us. Land, yeah. They they it, it's total hypocrisy. Yeah, Thanksgiving dinner was one of the first. Was the, what was the, the second? first welfare? Yeah. Uh, no, I think that was the second one. When did the first Thanksgiving occur? It wasn't 1620. I don't know the year, but 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 there was, so was the, the second. There was plenty of handouts given by the Indians. Yeah. To the. What do you uh, mean handouts? They that, that's why they, to the, the whites survived. To the Puritans. Yeah. And that's aren't how they, they survived? And aren't these eight? Is the reason why they were persecuted in England? Didn't anybody ever think of that? No. They had to leave England. They were persecuted. These, they were a cult. These are the same pure... They were a cult, my friend. Just like the evangelicals in, in, in the Bible Belt states. They're yeah. a cult. And and this is... Um, these are the same Puritans responsible for the Salem witch trials. Exactly. When they got in power, they kept the other people down. It is a... They, are, they were a form of uh, right-wing fundamentalism. And they had their ideology. It was called witchcraft. And a governor of one of the colonies or whatever, he believed that witches rode on broomsticks to the Black Sabbath. And cats were, were demonic. Cats were... Black cats were familiar. Witches familiars. Yes. Now, even all cats... Uh, well, one, in, in France, this one time they took all the black cats and they put them in a, you know, like a, a net when you get caught in a trap. And then it they put fire them. and they, they burned them. Oh, they burned them. Yeah. They were cruel and wicked people. Yeah, I mean... Uh, 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 Catholic Church, my friend. These are cults. Uh, yes, again, cult. They, 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 they're, they're, they're organizations that claim to be representing the God of the Bible. Uh -huh. but they do not know the Bible. Uh -uh. So, therefore, they don't represent the Bible. No. Nah. It's all... Possibly it's about man-made. It's it possibly it's all about power, but it's all man-made. Yeah, but what is their agenda? It's power, right? Power, of course. But it's man-made. It's not given from God. No, it's it's an ideologies that are conjured up. Yeah, that's right. Conjured. Per perception. I was talking about Billy with Billy, <laughs> except we get we accomplish more off the air with Billy because. For some reason, I try. <laughs> he only has twenty minutes, so he, yeah, yeah. he's got he's got to learn how to make the point and move on to to another. Probably, subject. probably, this is just a, an opinion. I think there's a hearing situation with the. Besides that, I think Billy would probably come over better with prepared remarks. And if you want to discuss them after he's off the air, that's you, fine. You know what? You just gave me an idea. Oh, good! Doc. Doc, what's up, Doc? Please. Billy is going to get a sheet of paper with the topics that I jot down. And he is going to have his 20 minutes to say what he has to say. And that's it. Because, because otherwise you're screaming and yelling. I'm, try it about I'm trying to stop him. I'm trying to interrupt. Yeah, but yeah, but Bill, we, we got to move on now. I'm spending yeah, too much there's time. There's no real intercourse. No, no. I, I don't want to talk about why do why do people have to behave such so so badly or well, why mm -hmm. can't we all get get mm -hmm. along? These mm -hmm. this is all like 
hippie flower child stuff. You know, this is like um, yeah, 60s. Yeah, you know, I mean, it doesn't solve anything. Yeah. Why this and why that? And uh, somebody put a funny cartoon on Facebook. Uh, it says, if Adam and Eve were Chinese, we would still be living in the Garden of Eden because they would have, they would have killed and, and eaten the snake instead of the apple. <laughs> Ma you know, making jest of, uh, of Asian food, p things that Asian people eat. Yeah, because you eat the yeah. dogs You would have killed the snake and, 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 and ate the snake instead of the apple. Yeah. You know, which I thought was cute. Okay, that's it. Thank you for joining us for a progressive discussion. Say so long to these peoples. So long, peoples. All right. Don't be sheeples. Oh, please, don't be sheeples. There's too many of them.